Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krendor, and today I want to talk about how Marie Kondo is looking down at me right now. <laughs> um, no, so I'm, uh, I'm trying to Marie Kondo my life, essentially. Uh, I found uh, my old Marie Kondo book, and then it turned out she has a new book about organizing your work life, and I was like, dude, I need that. <laughs> so I started reading it, and I was like, you know what? I need to do this. This is like my desk area was just all a mess. Um, my Warhammer area was a mess. Uh, my computer files were all a mess. My desktop was just like half covered and stuff. And then, and then I just kind of realized like I don't even know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> I was like, I've been, you know, I've been doing this 11 years, and I feel like I had a better schedule like seven years ago than I do now, and. Uh, part of that, I think, is due to, you know, the doing more things now. I have multiple podcasts I do. I got multiple YouTube channels. I stream. So there's so many different things. But at the same time, I was like, eh, it's making everything all, you know, everything's all over the place, essentially. So I was reading her book, and she was like, you got to take, like, a couple days to just organize everything. And I've taken about a day and a half, and I think I'm, like, halfway done. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to take, like, another day and a half, and I'm just... I'm just organizing everything. I'm cleaning stuff. I'm, you know, picking up coffee cups, being like, yo, does this spark joy? Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, so I'm just, I'm doing that. And it's actually great. I'm, I'm just reorganizing, getting everything ready. And I've even done that to my stream. I went into my stream details and I was like, okay, what are my best days for streaming uh, and I realized that I stream more hours on Friday than I do other days and get less views and on some other days I stream less and get more views and I'm like why don't I just stream more on those days and then take that day off and make that like a YouTube day and I was like on the YouTube day I could literally just be like today is YouTube you know I I make videos it could be multiple videos and then I'll be set to upload for the week even um, so I was like, that sounds like a great idea. And then Sunday is another day where not a lot of people uh, watch the stream. So I was like, I record Cox and Crendor on that day anyway. So I can make that as like a, almost like a catch-up YouTube day. If there's like a lot of videos that I need to get done for the week. Uh, and if I finish it, I can just take it and kind of, you know, either chill out or work on something else, right? Uh, maybe even do like some Warhammer or something. So that's my plan. Uh, it's it's a very generic schedule. <laughs> uh, but it's at least, I think, a practical schedule. Because normally, when you think schedule, you think like, alright, write down on Thursday, do this thing. And, uh, but this is more like, this is a day where I do YouTube. And I think that's the type of schedule I love. The, the last time I had a schedule that worked... I know I've made like 20 videos about scheduling, uh, but none of them had the Marie Kondo method. I forget she, what she calls it. It's like the, I don't remember, Kamari or something. Um, so <laughs> the best schedule I ever had for YouTube even was I wrote down all the videos I wanted to get done. This is before I streamed. So, I mean, this is a while ago. Um, and I'd be like, okay, pointless top 10, World of Krendor. WoW Machinima, or just WoW video in general, and like Pointless Top 10, uh, and like maybe non-content, and there's something else in there, I don't remember what it was. Um, and I didn't pick a day, I picked no days, and I was like, alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna write all these things I gotta get done down, and then I'm just gonna do them. Whatever day I wanna do it on, it doesn't matter, it's not like Pointless Top 10 is Thursday. It was just like, whenever it gets done this week, it gets done. But it has to get done. And that was like my best schedule I ever had. Because it's a, it's that combination of you have some sort of structure. You're like, I see what I have to do and get done. But it's not very specific of like, you got to do this today or else. So it was more of like an open schedule. It was really nice. And I was like, I want to do that again. So I think by doing this, that's actually encouraging more of that open schedule and that freedom to be able to do that. Um, I also contemplated just streaming myself editing and making YouTube videos. I think that'd be a, a little fun thing. 
I'm also gonna bring back pointless. Uh, well, I'm bringing back pointless top tens. They haven't been they've been gone for like a month and a half. I already made a few about Shadowlands. Um, but I'm <laughs> I bring back poorly rated because I tried to bring back poorly rated a few years ago, and I was like, oh, I'll know what I'll do. I'll just stream the poorly rated episodes and put them up on YouTube, and it was okay. But like, to me, poorly rated's like a YouTube thing. I mean, it could be a Twitch thing, but it's I like the... I'm going to edit them down, even. Because I think I did more of, like, poorly rated Let's Plays when I first did them. And I think doing a little more of, like, an edited video would be funnier. Like, editing it down to, like, five to ten minutes of poorly rated. So I'm going to try doing that again. Um, Because I really enjoy doing poorly rated videos. So that's going to be coming back to the YouTube channel. Uh, and then... Uh, oh, Fishing with Krendor. That was the thing I, I would write down. Um, so, yeah, there's just... This is my plan. <laughs> I wanted to make it known, and, you know, this isn't just a schedule, essentially. This is more of, like, a a life change I'm trying to do, right? Um, getting more Patreon stuff done. I had the idea of doing, like, a Patreon podcast where uh, if you're in a certain tier, you can be like, talk about this thing. And then I'll do, like, a podcast every month on Patreon where I just take everything everybody talks about. Uh, or mentions, and then just do a podcast on it on Patreon. Talk about each thing for a few minutes or something, uh, or however long. I think that'd be a, a fun idea. Um, so yeah, there's I have so many of these ideas, and uh, I'm I'm also just trying to get everything in order. I mean, I also have a, a to do list every day, so it's not even like a I, w I don't like calling it a to do list. I call it a things to get done list. So for example, every day. I wake up, and I read, <laughs> and I actually love reading when I wake up. So many people, they wake up, and they're like, where's my phone? And they look at their phone, right? And I used to do that, and that would just make me angry. I'd, like, read the internet, and I'd be like, I hate the internet. Um, <laughs> so then I was like, why don't I just wake up and read, which is what led to this, because I was like, oh, I got this Marie Kondo book, so I just started reading that, and I'm like, I like reading when I wake up. It's, it's relaxing, you know, it's something that's positive. You can, like, it's almost zen. You're just reading and chilling out. And then right after that, I open my, like, little notepad thing on my phone. And I'm like, all right, we'll write down things to get done, right? And so I just, you know, like, uh, get groceries. Or I'm like, uh, go to the gym. Uh, it could be even, like, go buy, <laughs> uh, I don't know, what I have to do? Uh, go get the car oil change, right? Go... Uh, buy a new Warhammer thing. I don't know, just whatever it is. Make a pointless top 10, do this, blah, 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 whatever. And then throughout the day, I just keep checking them off. And I always throw in like some easy ones too. Um, and that way you kind of, once you get in the rhythm of like being like, yeah, I'm doing all these things. It kind of, it gets you motivated a little more. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, I got to keep going. Got to keep going. So it's like, organize my thing, organize this, do that. Um, so that's another thing I've been doing. I talked about it a bit on Cox and Crendor, if you heard. Uh, but... I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just, uh... I'm just... I'm feeling good right now. And I think part of it is due to the organizational methods. Just keeping stuff clean. Because I've always been under the mindset of, like, when you have a cluttered space, you have a, a cluttered mind. Um, and that doesn't mean if you have stuff on your desk that it's cluttered, right? It means you chose to put it there. It's when you have like, ah, I'll throw all this stuff on here. That it just clutters everything. Your brain's like focusing on that when you're trying to do other stuff and just blah, blah, blah. So I'm trying to take that step. I remember, oh my God, uh, back when I did, uh, I tried like therapy years ago. It was like two or three years ago now. And I remember I was like, yeah, like, I don't know. I always want to clean, but I don't have time. And he was like, why don't you have time? And he was like, uh, He's like, is it important to you? And I was like, yeah, I mean, it seems pretty important. It always bothers me. He's like, why don't you do it? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And he's like, well, I mean, if it's important, it bothers you, just do it. And I was like, yeah, that does make sense. That was like the biggest thing. <laughs> Aside from my crippling uh, health anxieties, um, that was like my biggest concern I had. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, why don't I clean it? I think this... The, you know, reading the Marie Kondo stuff kind of re, re, uh, focused that, or it brought that memory back, essentially. Um, so it's been great. 
And uh, if you want to leave in the comments section down below, have you started organizing? Have you organized your life? It doesn't even have to be like just, I organized my desk or something. It could be like, you know, your desktop. It could be your bags. I was going to go through and organize my World of Warcraft bags. Cause they're like a shit show as well. So I'm trying to kind of get all this done before Shadowlands hits. Because I know once that hits, I'm just going to be playing WoW every day. <laughs> so that's uh, that's what I'm gearing up towards. But uh, thank you for listening. This really doesn't uh, involve like video games or anything. I guess it kind of does. But uh, this is more of just about me attempting to get my life in order. Uh, so that's, that's just uh, what I'm doing. So thanks for listening. <laughs> uh, thanks to Marie Kondo for writing the, the book. She's got the Netflix thing too, but I think the book's better. Uh, and subscribe, comment, like, share your organization stories if it helped you out. Did organizing your area actually impact your mind? That's kind of what I'm, I'm wondering. This, I want to make this more of a discussion thing. So like in the comments, let me know if organizing your space helped uh, clear your mind essentially, or even give you less anxiety or give you less stress. Uh, make you more productive like whatever it might be um so yeah let me know and uh don't worry i'm gonna be making a new mount uh mount farming video like tomorrow <laughs> i know i haven't done like a mount of the week thing in two weeks but don't worry it's gonna happen uh this weekend so thank you very much and i will see you next time okay okay So you Alright, I'll stop this. <laughs>